For a while I have started to play with the compass sensor in the Betaflight. This video is a comprehensive overview of how to connect, set and calibrate the compass component in order to get the best desired results. First I want to answer the following question. Is it required to use a magnetometer in Betaflight? I read many blogs, forums, Betaflight Fly documentation and I saw many YouTube tutorials which say that it is not necessary to use a magnetometer and the Betaflight does not need such information. The gyroscope is the only sensor that a drone really need for a stable flight. I agree. But if we get to the system configuration in Betaflight, you can also see that the system can use other types of information from the accelerometer or from the magnetometer. So, after a large number of flights with and without magnetometer, I noticed that the arrow that shows the home direction will have a high accuracy and will point the correct direction much faster if the magnetometer is used. The problems with the home direction will start to appear mainly if you go a little bit farther and you perform rolls, flips and so on. Next, let's present the magnetometers from which the Betaflight can take data. I have the BN880Q system that contains inside a GPS and a 3-axis digital compass circuit HMC5883L, which is one of the most popular magnetometers on the market. The Betaflight is able to communicate with different magnetometer circuits, like these ones that can be stand-alone circuits or are embedded together with different GPS systems. Or maybe you can use a flight controller like Alien Oop F7 that use an MPU9250 circuit that has a magnetometer inside. Almost all flight controllers have I2C pads, SDA serial data and SCL serial clock. So, you need to connect the SDA pad directly from the flight controller to the SDA data line from the GPS or Compass development board and the SCL pad from the flight controller to the SCL line from the Compass cir circuit. Moreover, you don't need to use external pull-ups at least with the latest version of Betaflight. I must also connect the UR data lines because I have a unit composed of a GPS receiver and a compass circuit. In the end, do not forget to connect the power lines. So, as you can see, I am connected to the drone. And by only connecting the compass to the flight controller is not enough. The flight controller does not recognize the magnetometer component. As a direct result, Several configurations must be done at the level of beta flight before the system can use the information from the magnetometer. Now, if you are in hurry, these are all the commands you have to give for the correct configuration of the magnetometer. But let's start to present the software settings one by one. Before we start, please connect your battery to the drone in order to power up the magnetometer. But before, you must remove the propellers. First, we must tell the flight controller where the magnetometer is connected. In my case, it is connected to the I2C bus and not to the SPI bus. Moreover, I do not have any device on the SPI bus. So, I set the number of the SPI devices to zero. Next, for my magnetometer to work, I must set the number of devices connected to the I2C bus. In my case, this value is 2. It doesn't work with 0, 1 or 3. It works only with 2. Because the documentation is unclear, I do not know exactly what these settings do, but mainly because I have also connected a barometer to the I2C port, it is possible to mean that I have two I2C devices or that my magnetometer is the second device. Next, I must provide the magnetometer I2C address. 
mainly because I know the type of the magnetometer device. I also know the I2C address of the device. But the Betaflight can discover this address without any problem. So I use zero value. In the next step, I will set the type of device to auto. I also know very well the type of my magnetometer, but it will work perfectly with the auto value. Now you should also set the magnetic declination correctly for your zone. To get this information, go to this web address and you can see here that this is the required information. You see that the magnetic declination for your current location is in the form degree and after that minutes format. So, You can see that two almost close points have different values. So it is important to set the correct value associated with the place where you will fly. If we go to a other place, you'll see that you have also negative values. In this case, you must set in this form. In the end, save all the settings. Now you'll see that the magnetic mark is on. To check if it is working, you can use also And here you see that I have gyro, accelerometer, barometer and the magnetic sensor. Now having the magnetometer correctly connected and configured, we can set the alignment accordingly with the mount on your drone. Also activate the sensor. In this mode, the flight management unit will consider the information from the magnetometer. But the most essential step is right now to calibrate the magnetometer. By pushing the calibration button, you will start the calibration process that will last for 30 seconds. It is important to do it far away from any large metal objects. Rotate the drone 360 degree on all axes and on each axis, in each direction, with different speed. In the end, if you have time, please rotate the drone randomly.